Good morning. My name is Emanuele Buratti. I work in the molecular pathology group at ICGB, and I'm one of the inventors in a patent disclosing a cellular model mimicking pathological TDP43 aggregation. As TDP43 aggregation is the cause of many neurodegenerative diseases, our invention may be utilized for the screening of molecules, such as chemical drugs, peptides, nucleic acids, and others, potentially able to interfere with the formation of these aggregates. The World Health Organization predicts that by 2040, as a result of a growing and aging world population, neurodegenerative diseases will have overtaken cancer to become the world's second leading cause of death after cardiovascular disease. In particular, the cost of brain disorders in Europe in 2010 may well exceed 780 million euros. From a national health policy perspective, investigating neurodegenerative disease can be highly worthwhile, even in the absence of a permanent cure. For example, delaying the onset of Alzheimer even by five years in elderly patients can reduce costs by 50% by 2047. The present invention targets neurodegenerative diseases caused by aggregates formed by modified variants of TDP43, such as the amyotrophic lateral sclerosis and frontotemporal lobar degeneration. In about 10% of cases, ALS is caused by a genetic defect. In the remaining cases, the cause is unknown. In ALS, nerve cells waste away or die and can no longer send messages to muscles. This eventually leads to muscle weakening, twitching, and an inability to move the arms, legs, and body. The condition slowly degenerates. ALS affects approximately five out of every 100,000 people worldwide. FTLD, on the other hand, is the second most common cause of early onset progressive cognitive impairment after Alzheimer's disease, but it may also be associated with Parkinsonism and ALS. Since ALS is also associated with FTLD, ALS and FTLD may in fact be different manifestations of a single disease. Currently, no specific treatment for these diseases is available. Many neurodegenerative diseases are characterized by abnormal protein aggregates that accumulate in the nerve cells and are found in patient brains. The formation of these abnormal aggregates is both a hallmark of these diseases and an essential pathogenic event. In 2006, it was found that aggregates formed by cellular TDP43 were present in, were present in most cases of amyotrophic lateral sclerosis and frontotemporal lobar degeneration. In both instances, the predominantly nuclear TDP43 accumulates in the cytoplasm and becomes aggregated. Aggregates are abnormally phosphorylated, cleaved, and ubiquitinated. In a lower percentage of cases, aggregate formation has also been observed in the nucleus. For aggregation, it has been recently described that the Q-enriched region of TDP43 may play an important role in this process. The formation of these aggregates can lead to a pathological condition either by being toxic for the cellular metabolism or by sequestering TDP43 and altering all the metabolic processes that are controlled by this protein. The aim of the present invention is to provide a stable cell-based assay to monitor the formation of TDP43 aggregates to be used for the screening of novel drugs aimed at preventing protein aggregation. We introduced N tandem repeats, where N is equal to or greater than two, into cells of a sequence of the C-terminal Q-enriched region of TDP43 that spans from residues 331 to 369, a region that was previously described to be functionally important for the interaction between TDP43 and members of the HNRMP protein family. As shown in this slide, aggregates formed by this compound, shown in green, are also able to trap wild-type TDP43, shown in red. Moreover, TDP43 trapped in these aggregates can become phosphorylated and ubiquitinated in a way that is similar to that observed in patients. Finally, formation of these aggregates by our 12QN compound can also be triggered in primary culture neurons, thus making this process as close to the natural situation as possible. In this manner, we developed a highly reproducible, cell-based TDP43 aggregation model that successfully mimics the formation of pathological aggregates in a variety of ways, such as aberrant phosphorylation 
an ubiquity nation. At present, we are looking for partners who are willing to collaborate with us to bring these findings even closer to the clinic by performing screening analysis for compounds that specifically target TDP43 aggregation and ALS-FTD disease, by testing compounds believed to act as a general promoters of or inhibitors of aggregation processes as observed in neurodegeneration, or finally, by testing molecules to detect this type of aggregates to improve diagnostic approaches. Thank you for your attention.